What's going on guys? The Comics Kid 2099 here. Welcome to day 260 of the 365 day graphic novel review challenge. Today I want to talk to you about Dragon Ball Volume 6 by Akira Toriyama. Uh, this collects tales 61 through 72 of the original Dragon Ball manga that was published in Shonen Jump. And uh, this uh, continues Goku's efforts to try and find the four star Dragon Ball uh, by himself. Uh, whenever we see him go uh, back to looking for the Dragon Balls in the previous volume, uh, he says he's going to do it alone because uh, nobody else really wants to go after the Dragon Balls, except for Krillin, but he can't ride Kintown, uh, the uh, cloud that Goku rides. And so Goku goes out on his own, and I was interested in seeing Goku go out by himself, uh, because I thought that would be interesting to see, because we hadn't really seen him by himself. Uh, we had seen him just pretty much straight from the beginning in Volume 1, he meets Bulma, and then he's questing with her, and then uh, we add other characters to the quest, and uh, we got quite a few characters built up in the supporting cast of the series, and I thought it would be interesting to see Goku uh, out on his own without any of these other people who are much more knowledgeable in the ways of the world. So uh, we can see Goku uh, do things uh, that, uh, he's not an idiot, but he's very naive and very ignorant of uh, what's going on in the world. So he might say something like, uh, you know, I don't know, he, I can't think of anything that he he would say, but he would say something, and then everyone else does that thing where uh, they're like falling on the ground and their feet are in the air because they're so shocked uh, that he would say something so silly, or what they think is silly. Uh, so I was interested in seeing Goku uh, go out and quest on his own. I thought that would be a neat uh, little twist on the dynamic of the series, uh, but this volume has him uh, going back and kind of reuniting with uh, some of the supporting characters that we built up over the previous volumes, and I think that was a good move, because uh, whenever you have one character like Goku out on his own, he can't really bounce off of anyone else. Uh, it's a lot harder uh, to do a story when it's one character uh, going after all the bad guys as opposed to one character who has other characters that he can talk with. And uh, a lot of the charm of this series is uh, the dialogue. Uh, you get to see characters who are very different from each other uh, chatting with each other and uh, being together in the same scene. And uh, it's a lot harder to do that whenever Goku is by himself. Uh, so uh, this volume contrives a way of Goku going back and finding Bulma, and uh, that's a fun little chapter where he goes to the city and uh, like I said, he's very naive. Uh, he doesn't know that uh, everyone in the city doesn't know where Bulma lives. Uh, he goes up to people and says, hey, where's Bulma's house? And they're all like, I don't know Bulma. You need to go away. Uh, so uh, this book uh, contrives a way uh, to get uh, Goku back with the supporting characters and I like that. Uh, at first I thought it would be neat to see Goku on his own, uh, but I think this series does work better when you have a few of the characters with Goku. It doesn't have to be all of them. Uh, you don't have to have Yamcha or Oolong or Pooh are, uh, but uh, this particular volume has uh, Bulma and uh, Master Roshi and uh, Krillin. Uh, they're all here uh, helping Goku a little bit. Uh, so uh, I think it does work better if you have a few of them. And you could even rotate them out. You could have uh, Bulma in the next volume say, uh, listen, uh, I didn't know that the Red Ribbon Army was coming after us. I don't want to do this anymore. But then Yamcha might come in and say, oh, the Red Ribbon Army, they killed my father. I want to help Goku take them down or something like that. Uh, I don't think that that's going on here. But uh, I think that would be a really good way that you could uh, keep characters in this series, uh, but not necessarily uh, get stale with the same characters in every volume. Uh, and that way you can have uh, different characters interacting with Goku and uh, having fun little hijinks uh, in each volume. Uh, also, uh, one thing I like that I didn't mention uh, in the previous uh, video uh, when I was talking about Volume 5 uh, is the Red Ribbon Army itself. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the bad guys from like uh, the G.I. Joe cartoon, Cobra, or uh, Hydra from the Marvel Universe. It's basically just a big giant army of never-ending evil. Uh, you can have Goku defeat uh, General White or Commander Blue or uh, Sergeant Red or whatever their names are, uh, and then you can just bring in another leader in the Red Ribbon Army. Uh, I really like that a lot. Uh, I think that Toriyama uh, very quickly realized that he had a very long-running series on his hands, potentially, as long as he wanted to do it, and so he needed to come up with some bad guys who could last for a good little while, uh, because a lot of the bad guys that we have seen up until this point haven't lasted very long. Uh, you had Pilaf, who lasted about one volume. Uh, you had that one uh, rabbit who was a mobster that would turn people into carrots. He lasted literally one issue. Uh, they haven't lasted very long. So uh, I like that he has found a way uh, to create a whole bunch of bad guys. Uh, he can have anyone he wants be connected to the Red Ribbon Army. Uh, and I like that we are going to get to see them uh, presumably for multiple volumes. Uh, we saw them quite a bit in Volume 5. Uh, we see them here. And uh, it looks like we're going to be seeing them in Volume 7 because this one ends on a cliffhanger. Uh, so I like that he has found a way uh, to uh, keep these bad guys in the series, but it's not 
the same bad guy for multiple volumes. It's not like uh, we're seeing a General Red or whatever for like three or four volumes because as we've seen, Goku is possibly one of the uh, pow most powerful people on the planet. Uh, I would say he is the second most powerful person at this moment. Uh, so it wouldn't be very convincing that there is one bad guy that Goku uh, is continually fighting and has recurring fights with. Uh, pretty much anyone on the planet, Goku would be able to defeat pretty easily. Uh, so with a giant army of evil bad guys, uh, it's a little bit more convincing that Goku wouldn't be able to take out an entire global uh, massive uh, organization like this, uh, but at the same time, you can still have them be a recurrent threat. Uh, so uh, I've basically been talking a really long time about this volume. Uh, I like it. Uh, I think that it's a little bit better than the previous volume, uh, but not that the previous volume was bad, uh, but I think that this volume, uh, Toriyama realized that he needed to keep Goku with his friends and supporting characters, and uh, he was able to find a way to make that work. Uh, I liked it, and uh, I look forward to reading uh, the next volume. So uh, those are my thoughts on volume six. I hope that you guys liked this video, and if you did, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back tomorrow with a different video. In the meantime, you guys have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.